Hey guys, welcome back. Today I'll be showing you how I created this pink halo look with the BYS palette, plus also reviewing it at the end. So if you want to know how I created this look, then just stay tuned. Let's just take this eyelash off. Ooh. You guys, lashes makes everything better. So my thoughts on this palette is it's a yes because majority of the colors, the ones that I used, I can swatch a couple so you guys can see. That's one. That's two. Um, let's do this one, that's three, and uh, let's do, I believe this is lavish, oh no, dainty, dandity. So those are the colors, and here's the swatches. But all in all, I really did like the palette, I definitely recommend it. Um, and for the record, this is not a sponsored video. This was just, some of you reached out to me and messaged me on my Instagram. Um, for those of you that don't know, I do have a makeup page on Instagram. If you'd like to follow me, I, I will put the name right here. And then I'll also leave the link down below. This one is the Australian makeup brand. And you can, you can actually purchase this at the Family Dollar. I believe they also have it online. And I'm pretty sure Amazon carries it. But I believe for Amazon, it's $12 or $12. $10 and this was $8 flat. Another, thing, another review was this highlight highlighting palette. So I used these three, these four. I used all these four. I tried them out. So I mixed glisten and gleam together and I thought it was too pink. Like Glisten and gleam for my inner corner pop it there and for my brow bone and you guys I love it It's a really pretty highlight. I use these two wet on my cheek and I think maybe that's what popped it up out way too much But I kind of took it off and then I just went in with golden because I do like more of those neutral um, Colors especially for my skin tone However question is do I recommend this? Mmm Yes, I definitely recommend it. This one's also available at Family Dollar, and this one was also $8. So, I'm pretty sure you guys will love them. And this, I use this palette with primer, and then this one I put a little bit of setting spray for the cheeks. Well, like, for like the top of the cheeks, and it worked really good. It was actually way too much. So, um, another review that it's not part of the Australian makeup, but it's the, I used the Nobby 2-in-1 mascara. I did do my JBE's haul earlier today, it was live, and I told you guys I will let you know about this, and honestly, when I first put it on, I started seeing that my lashes were pretty long, but then it wouldn't keep them up, it just literally, they went back down, and I wouldn't compare it to the Mika Beauty one. Because literally it's just, so here's the first step, which thins out the product I believe. And then here's the second step, which is, I guess you could say it makes it thicker, but it's supposed to keep like the fibers there. However, 
Actually, I'm going to put this back because then. So, step one is actually, ooh, is actually the same as um, step two. Like, it's just the wand. So, it's just like the band thing right here is thicker. And I believe that's what makes the product catch onto the brush better. Okay, guys, so that will be it for this video. I do have more videos coming up. I will not be uploading them today. I will be uploading, trying to upload a video every day this week. And um, I know that I ha that some of you have sent me some messages of looks that you want me to see and products you want me to check out. I will try my hardest to get every single of that of those videos up this week. I definitely recommend these two palettes. So. Thank you guys so much for watching. I, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, please give me a thumbs up. Let me know in the comments down below which palette you like the most. And I'll see you guys in my next one. Bye!